welcome back friend today in this video i will show you how we will make 1 is to 20 dilution as you know that this dilution we will use in hematology if we are using manual wbc count and mostly if sample is very less quantity either in biochemistry or in hormones that time we need this dilution so first of all 1 is to 20 dilution means the factor we are using in this dilution is that is 20 so whatever result we will get that time we will multiply the result with 20 then we uh, we will get actual answer so i will show you that how we will make this dilution with two methods and then you will understand the concept and then you can use any method even different method also so 1 is to 20 means one part of sample and 19 parts of reagent we need so what are the two methods in first method i will show you that how much uh, we will use sample and uh, in second method how much we will use sample so in first method we will use 10 microliters so if we our sample is very less quantity and we need on we can use only 10 microliter then how much sample and reagent we need first of all you write how many parts we need means one part sample and one part reagent now we will multiply with 10 sorry this was 10 only and we will multiply parts also with 10 microliter now we will get the answer 1 multiplied by 10 microliter means we need 10 microliter sample and 19 multiplied by 10 means we need 190 microliter reagent so now this dilution is 1 is to 20 dilution with the sample of 10 microliter so whatever result we will get in this dilution always remember that we have to multiply with the factor not with the quantity of sample because quantity of sample is according to our need but uh, re, uh, what the factor we are using that only we will use to answer so result will be multiplied with 20 now second is if we have little more sample means 20 microliter that is more safe side also then how much we need same 1 multiply by 20 means one part if we will multiply by 20 microliter then we will get sample and 19 part multiply by 20 means how mu that much we need reagent so 1 is to 20 microliter means 20 microliter we need sample and 19 is to 20 microliter means 380 microliter we need reagent mostly you, if you remember wbc dilution in that dilution 1 is to 20 they are telling that use 20 microliter and 380 now you understand how this 380 and 20 is coming so these in same way whatever the answer we will get we will multiply by 20 and our result will come so same way if you have more quantity you can use 30 microliter that time you can multiply 1 multiply by 30 19 multiply by 30 same 40 microliter means 40 multiply by 1 and 40 multiply by 19 microliter then time we will get answers so now i hope you understand the concept of 1 is to 20 dilution that how this dilution is made and what methods we can use to dilute our sample and reagent I will meet you with new video as soon as possible. Thank you so much.